Looking at your statement this morning, you talk about uncertainty, uncertain global economy, as well as the uncertainty in the political outlook. You seem quite cautious, and yet we have a global stock rally that suggests there's a lot of investor enthusiasm, enthusiasm and excitement for growth at the moment. Why do you see the world differently? Good morning, Anna. Good morning, Manis. Um, we delivered last year a record uh, year in terms of revenue at 3.4 billion uh, euros. We have a very strong first half with more than 6% organic growth. And the second half was affected by a slowdown in Asia Pacific, mainly in Greater China. And we continue to see some weakness in Greater China, um, which is about 20% of our total revenues, uh, offset by some very strong momentum in our new digital networks in London and New York. And since you are, you are uh, in London, uh, you have seen all the digital bus shelters that we've recently installed, and they are very popular with, among advertisers. So the good news is that we are making significant progress in uh, three of the top four advertising markets worldwide with the digitization of London, New York as well, where we have now the most visible advertising locations on Fifth Avenue across the Trump Tower. And also recently we won some major contracts in Japan, which is still the third largest advertising market worldwide, where we now are um, uh, providing a network which covers 40% of the Japanese population in the top 41 cities. So we have some very good news in terms of organic growth and in terms of digitization, which is transforming the way how advertisers are going to be buying out of home media in, in the future and already buying some, some very dynamic campaigns um, in uh, the so train station you, in the you, UK. You spoil us, as well you spoil as in, us for choice furniture. in which direction to go. You're spoiling me for choice in direction to go. Whether I go towards the Trump question or the Brexit yeah. question, let's go with Trump uh, because that's where you've got a considerable <laughs> presence. Um, he's talking a great book. Uh, there's enthusiasm amongst manufacturers, amongst the consumer. Is that feeding through yet to bookings? in the first month and a half of this year. Are you seeing any push higher in your U.S. business, apart from Trump Tower? But our U.S. business is uh, doing very well in, in Q1. Obviously, we are not uh, giving a guidance on a, a geographic basis. Our guidance is for the, the world as a whole, which was the first question of Anna, why are you so cautious? And we are cautious because we, uh, we see a slowdown in most of our emerging countries, which represent 36% of our total revenues. Now, having said that, coming back to your question, Manis, um, U.S. in the first quarter is doing extremely well. The digitization of our bus shelters and newsstands in the core of Manhattan is proving very successful. And the U.S. is uh, going to be a top um, country for growth for Jesse Deco in 2017. But the U.S. is only representing a bit less than 10% of our group revenues. You've already, you already mentioned the bus shelters, Jean-Francois, so let's come back to the UK. Last uh, time, I think, uh, you reported to the markets, you warned about the potential for Brexit delays to that project, but you did talk about the uh, expectation that 50% of UK advertising revenues were going to come from digital in 2017. Can you update us on guidance for the UK? Yes, Anna, you, you're perfectly right that um, we, uh, we targeted a 50% uh, share of revenues coming from digital in 2017. We are well on, on, on track because last year we generated 40% of our revenues from digital. So what I told you last year when we presented our 2015 results is uh, going to be true, i.e. that we will be generating 50% of our revenues in the UK coming from digital. We operate the largest uh, digital out-of-home uh, media network in the world. We've now 600 screens. Uh, Oxford Street is 100% digital. As you know, Oxford Street is the, the biggest, the busiest uh, shopping street in Europe. And uh, we are selling to new advertisers like, uh, obviously, in the new economy, uh, most of the GAFA companies have become major clients of uh, Jesse Deco uh, with digital. Jean-Francois, France is... 19% of your revenues, I think, at the end of 2015. There's a whole variety of ways to, to look at French risk at the moment. Give me your... Everybody's got to have a worst-case scenario, a little bit of disaster recovery planning. If Le Pen was to succeed and become uh, the leader of France, what would be the immediate decision process that you might go through as a CEO? Would you consider moving your headquarters? What would, what would go through your mind in terms of that risk? Have you thought about it? No, we are, we are a French-based company. 
Uh, Paris is um, our showcase for the rest of the world. This is where we launched the uh, most successful bike sharing system with last year 40 million trips compared to 9 million in the UK, in London. Um, we are most of our new products, such as the automatic public toilets, the bus shelters with, uh, with um, USB connections where you can recharge your iPhones at the bus stop while waiting for the buses. Everything was kind of invented in, in France. So we will continue to obviously be a, a French-based company. There is no doubt about that. Um, you should know, uh, Manis, that um, we, out of home in France, is 13% uh, of media spent and was 12% five years ago. So we've gained market share. We have a strong position in France. Uh, we employ more than 4,000 people. We are committed to our country. Uh, having said that, I've been living, obviously, many, many years abroad. I'm still living in London. And uh, we are now operating in 75 countries. France is only 18% of our, our total revenue. So it's, it's no longer um, the biggest uh, region. And the biggest region remains the um, now Asia Pacific. Um, okay. um, and, and for that reason, I don't see any reason why we should move out of uh, our French uh, home country.